Salam alaikum. Uh, the aceplasty is another useful technique that can be used in facial surgery. It's not primarily a tissue saving uh, technique like the amoplasty, although it does actually save a little bit more uh, tissues and it can be combined with the amoplasty. The primary advantage of the aceplasty is the realignment of uh, the wound direction to uh, redistribute the tension along the entire wound length in a better way and prevent central depression of the scar and is particularly useful over convex surfaces in the face. Much like the conventional way of having an elliptical uh, excision of a lesion together with a safety margin rather than a circular excision, to prevent the formation of the dog ears. Um, this S plus D provides the same advantage, but rather than having a triangle at the ends, you have now a crescent. This is obviously longer, so you can provide the three to one ratio or four to one ratio in a smaller space. And you also have a more acute angle at the end to avoid having any um, dog ears. Uh, it's particularly useful when you want to prevent any tension on the central part of the wound to avoid wound depressing. That's useful when you are working over uh, convex surfaces like the nasal bridge or the chin. That's the main advantage of the set of the S-aplasty, plus it can be combined with an m to preserve further tissue. When the wound geometry of uh, elliptical conventional excision and the aceplasty were compared, it was clear that in comparison to the conventional way, the aceplasty provides less uh, central depression of the wound and less elevation of the wound edges compared to the uh, other technique. Uh, this is basically because uh, the tension uh, on the wound while healing on the two crescents will be in opposite directions so this would help in flattening of, of the wound in a better way and preventing the depression of the central part uh, so this is a good way of redistribution of the tension the other big advantage of the aceplasty is when you are excising a dumbbell um, lesion like this rather than transforming this that uh, dumbbell lesion into a big crescent around it you can actually remove it with a safety margin and now you suture one of the central points a into here and b into the other side and you end up with an s plasty that have uh, le preserved more tissue and distributed the tension in a better way so this is just to illustrate how the s plasty and combined with an m plasty can be uh, marked. Um, now you have the conventional elliptiform in, uh, excision. Um, in here, you start on a line um, very similar to the apex of the conventional ellipse and end at a similar point, but you form now uh, these two small crescents in a gentle S shaped uh, excision. Now you can just add the amoplasty in the same way, centered on the safety margin on one side and extending to the, the uh, sides of the uh, excision margin, leaving uh, acute angles at the apex, acute angle at the amoplasty. And now you've preserved a little bit more tissue on this side and the same on the other side, but you realigned A, the shape, of the excision uh, so that the tension will be distributed well between the two crescents, avoided the central depression, and also you can change the direction of the wound itself to avoid important structures in the face. You have the same problem with the amoplasty in that you are left with too many acute angles that would have to be realigned by using the three-point junction or the corner stitch uh, very precisely, but with the advantage of tissue preservation and uh, 
redistribution of the tension. So this is an example of where the aciplasty technique would be useful in facial surgery in an uneven surface like this beside the malar bone and the nasal bridge. If you want to avoid having these convex areas, you can place the aciplasty somewhere in there. And by having the configuration of the S, you redistributed the tension so that the uh, end scar tissue is not going to tent and fold over the surface, from giving a very ugly uh, deformity. And it is actually uh, how meticulous you are going to stitch this wound, particularly if you combine it with an emmaplasty, how meticulous you are in placing the three-point junction and um, uh, putting the sutures and the skin with a 5-0 or a 6-0 nylon at the end, you end up with a fairly good scar. The S-plasty is another good uh, technique to be used in facial skin surgery. It's not primarily uh, tissue saving, although it does actually add to the tissue saving, but it helps with redistribution of the tension and avoiding central depression of the scar and is particularly useful over convex surfaces. Salam alaikum.